Welcome to Electron Online. Now we want to take a closer look at why the precessional velocity on a gyroscope increases over time and especially when we initially get the gyroscope moving and there's no power source to keep the angular velocity of the disc at a constant speed. So when friction acts and the angular velocity of the disc begins to slow down, what happens is as the disc slows down, the angular momentum of the disc decreases Remember the equation that the angular momentum is equal to I times omega. I is the moment of inertia of the gyroscope, and omega is the angular velocity of the disk of the gyroscope. And as omega gets smaller, L gets smaller. So as the spinning of the disk slows down, you can see that the angular momentum of the, of the gyroscope, of the disk of the gyroscope, decreases like this. Now the torque stays constant. That's the key to all this. The torque stays constant because the r, the position vector, doesn't change, and the weight, the mg of the gyroscope, doesn't change. And since the torque is caused by the product, the cross product of the position vector and the force, which is equal to r cross mg, since this remains constant, the torque remains constant, which causes dl dt to remain constant, which means that the change in the angular velocity is a constant quantity. Notice then that if the angle of momentum gets smaller but dl remains the same, the change in the angle over time, the d theta dt becomes larger. And since the precessional velocity, defined by capital letter omega, is equal to the change in the angle with respect to time, d theta, then you can see that if this becomes larger, that becomes larger as well. And why does the angle, why does the change in the angle becomes larger? Because Remember, for small angles, we can say that d theta is approximately equal to the sine of d theta, which is, a, which is equal to the tangent of d theta, which is equal to the ratio of the opposite side, which is dl, over the adjacent side, which is l. So if we take the magnitude of that, the ratio of dl over l will become larger. As dl becomes larger, well, no, actually, the L remains constant, but L becomes smaller. As L becomes smaller, this ratio becomes larger, this becomes larger, that becomes larger, this becomes larger, which means the precessional velocity becomes larger. And that's the reason why when you have a gyroscope that's spinning, it'll start precessing faster and faster and faster because the angular momentum decreases as omega decreases due to friction. And that's the key to understanding the gyroscope.